live, work, or just visit Marion County now have a better understanding about Indy's plan towards a new normal. Yeah, the city's ready to move on to stage three of the governor's back on track plan for Indiana. And Matt's live with what that means for you. Hey, Matt. Yeah, good morning to you. Really, this starts at the end of this month. So in just a couple of days' time, businesses like Mass Appeal Hair right here in downtown Indianapolis will be reopening. You can see from the sign in the window, they have been closed since late March. They were optimistic they might be able to reopen in early April, but of course that is now put on hold until this coming Monday. It is a step toward normalcy. This weekend, churches can also resume indoor services at half capacity if people socially distance and wear masks. Then on Monday, restaurants in Indianapolis can reopen their dining rooms and start serving indoors. Personal services like salons, barbershops, spas, tattoo parlors can all also open on Monday, along with gyms and pools at half capacity. Tennis and basketball courts can reopen as well, but still, not everyone is rushing to reopen immediately. It will be different, and so in all those differences, uh, it, it won't be exactly the same feel that it used to be. But we're still confident that wherever God's presence is, his people will be fed. Now, that's Glens Valley Church. They actually plan on holding their drive-by services really for the next couple of weeks to kind of get a feel of things before moving the services inside the church building. Meanwhile, here in Indianapolis and Marion County, bars along with movie theaters and entertainment venues, they will also be allowed to reopen later in June. But, of course, right now the big push now is getting back to normal here with hair salons and the like this coming Monday. Progress, Matt. It's great to see. Uh, the CDC has some new guidelines, too, regarding how long you'll need to quarantine if you have the coronavirus. This includes staying away from others until you've gone at least three days without a fever, seeing your symptoms improve, and it's been 10 days since you first noticed those symptoms. So if you've tested positive for COVID-19 but didn't have symptoms, you should stay in isolation for 10 days after that test. If you've been exposed to someone with a virus, you'll need to quarantine at least 14 days because those symptoms can take that long to develop. It's 505 and from Boone County, lots of concern this morning in Lebanon where a police department's entire detective team is out with COVID-19. The department only has five detectives that tested positive. So now they're self-quarantining and thankfully none of them are seriously sick. A couple of detectives could be back to work here soon if a second round of COVID-19 tests comes back negative. Now that Blue Indy's done, those coveted parking spaces will be repurposed for things like carryout parking and loading zones, at least for now. The mayor is asking the rideshare company to not remove any of its charging stations and kiosks until it decides what to do with them. And free masks are being given away to people who live here in Marion County. The goal is that these masks will go to older adults and people who are at high risk for the coronavirus. You can actually just request one online. We have a link for you to do that at WTHR.com. Time right now is 5.06. And we're going to go to back to that question we asked you at the top of the show. Would you get a COVID-19 vaccine if it became available? Among those who want a vaccine, a new poll found that only half of Americans would. Meredith is live for us this morning, breaking this all down and sharing what you have to say about it online. And Meredith, what's going on in the Twitter world or Facebook that you have for us this morning? <laughs> The Twitter, Facebook world, there's always something going on, Ben and Alyssa. Yes, yeah, so half of Americans say they would get a COVID-19 vaccine. And we asked you guys on social media, would you be comfortable getting a COVID-19 vaccine? Now, the poll that was done that found that half of the people are comfortable, that was from the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research. Half said, yeah, I'd get one. 31% said they're not sure if they would get vaccinated. One in five said they'd absolutely refuse. Now, I found this quote to be pretty much where a lot of people were falling. So this is from a woman named Melanie in Colorado Springs. She says, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but to get a COVID-19 vaccine within a year or two does cause me to fear that it's not going to be widely tested to know what the side effects are. In the comments section, of course, we had people all the way to the left, all the way to the right, those who said, absolutely not, I would never get one, and those who said, I would get one the day it's ready, but I found that the majority of people lived in this sort of in-between. Lauren saying, eventually, yeah, but I would want to make sure this isn't rushed and it's safe and ready to be used. Donald saying, instead of making the goal to vaccinate everybody, it should be to vaccinate those who are high risk. I believe in vaccines, but I would wait a year or two. And Ia saying, it's certainly not right away. It would be too new for me to trust without knowing the more long-term effects. 
What do you think? Would you get a COVID-19 vaccine the day it is ready? We want to hear from you. Join the conversation as always using our show hashtag 13 sunrise guys. Remember, you could uh, weigh in on this right now. I think we're at about 58% that said that they would absolutely get it when it's available right now. So we'll can continue to keep an eye on that right. and keep them coming in. Well, fans of Walt Disney World will certainly be happy to know there's a chance you'll be allowed back in the parks this summer. Disney actually just gave their reopening plan to the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force yesterday. They want to open Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom on July 11th, and they're targeting July 15th to open both Epcot and Hollywood Studios. The parks created a social distance squad to help guests follow those new guidelines. Parades and fireworks, though, will be temporarily suspended along with those character meet and greets. Temperature checks will also be conducted for staff and guests. And SeaWorld presented their plan for reopening in Florida. The theme park proposed June 11th as the public reopening date. Face masks, staggered seating, and social distancing in lines are all part of the proposed plan. They say there will also be hand sanitizer around the park. And uh, Chuck, I, I know that's good news for a lot of families who are kind of itching to safely get down to Florida to some of those theme parks.